The concept of quality has been developing over time. Initially, quality was associated with the intrinsic characteristics of products. That is, the important thing was to produce products based on a set of requirements and adjusted procedures. Later, the concept of quality became associated not only within the intrinsic quality of the product, but also with the customer satisfaction with that same product, particularly regarding the quality price ratio. Nowadays, quality is seen not only in terms of customer satisfaction, but in terms of satisfaction of all stakeholders that interact with the organization based on the product it supplies. For more information regarding this subject, you can consult Model 3 for reference. It means, therefore, that nowadays it's not enough to look inside the organization to understand its quality and organizational performance. It is also necessary to look outside the organization, especially to those with whom it directly interacts. Quality is increasingly value creation for the different stakeholders, internal and external. In this regard, it is essential that ACE know their stakeholders, not only the internal ones like students, teachers and researchers and non-teaching staff and others, but also pay attention to external stakeholders such as families, graduates, professional associations, trade unions and so on. One of the key requirements for the development of higher education is the participation and involvement of these stakeholders in the life of the A's. Only with the stakeholders' involvement, the institutions will be able to fulfill its mission and contributing to the evolution of society. To do so, it is necessary from the very beginning to define the set of a formal structure that provides for their participation, either at the level of the strategic decision structures where the main strategic guidelines of the institutions are defined, whenever the, at the level of quality structures where the institutions, quality policy and job objectives are defined, whenever at the level of proximity structures where, for example, the benchmark of quality of the providers provided training are analyzed. At the same time, it will be important to understand at what level each of the stakeholders should participate. Now we shall talk about the communication with internal and external stakeholders and their participation in the life of institutions. Involving the stakeholders in the life of ACE required an in-depth uh, knowledge about them. First of all, we should be able to answer the following questions. Who are the main stakeholders? What interests do they have? How and where can they participate? Another aspect that we need to attend to is the characterization of stakeholders into different types. To know about this, you can consult the other content in the online page of this model. For a proper stakeholders' engagement, it is vital to communicate with them, either in a formal way, using mechanisms that allow their formal participation and expression of opinion in the A's, whether in the existence of decision-making bodies, as mentioned before, which allow the participation of different stakeholders in the decision-making process, either in the listening and their expectation and satisfaction levels, either by regulating informing about the activities developed in the institution, it is very re relevant that A's account for which inputs are considered and which one discard discarded, explaining the reasons why the feedbacks were discarded. We all know that higher education institutions increasingly play an active role in societies, contributing directly to innovation, economic development, sustainability, and a fairer and more transparent society. 
It is important, therefore, that institutions commit themselves openly in their autonomy process, which give them the independence and the ability to work in the societies of future, in the perspective that they should always be the service of the community, not only contributing to its development, but also in the capacity to involve the community in that development. In the creation of the mechanisms that enhance their levels of performance, both in terms of training and student success levels, and in research process. And in the relationship with the surrounding communities, being key players in their development and value creation. It is also a determining factor for the success of this interconnection that institutions of higher education adopt a public information policy which should consider the following aspects. Integration into the philosophy of accountability to society, be a transparency tool, and that is also be a way to communicate with internal and external stakeholders. To promote this transparent communication, the information must be easily available to the public and may be available to intuitive platforms and with an extensive presence, such as institutional portals, disclosure by newsletter, email or social networks.